Hey guys, what's up? It's Kylo here. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a video uh, about sorcerers and PVE and PVP and what clones you should use. Mainly because I've been getting a lot of questions for this, so pretty much I'm just gonna redirect people to this video. Um, so pretty much I'm gonna start with uh, PVE because it's pretty simple. Um, with PVE. You pretty much want the fire tree. Um, the fire tree gives the most damage, and in PVE, all you really need is damage. Um, as far as other skills go, you're gonna want the skills that give the fire resistant debuffs, like this skill right here. You can see fire resistance 10 decrease. Um, the poison gives decreases. Um, I'm not sure which other skills do give decreases, but pretty much you want all of the fire skills and all the skills that give fire decreases. You want all of the, um, you, you might not want seal, you don't really need seal in PvE, you're not going to be silencing any monsters. Um, I guess you can use hypnotize, but it's like you're, you don't, I mean you can, you can actually put monsters to sleep, but I mean, I don't know how useful it'll be, it, it, it's like, it, I just couldn't see it being too useful in PvE, like you can put monsters to sleep, but, you know. It's just like one of those things where you're just like, hmm, I kind of need that skill, but at the same time I could live without it. But yeah, you definitely want the, I mean, regardless if you're in PvE or PvP, you want the, the passives and the buffs. Um, like you want all of this, you want this. Um, and also another thing with PvE is, um, I think the, okay, well, first, don't get this skill. This skill actually does not stack with this skill, so there's, this is a waste of skill points. But um, I think mental training is good. I think the physical protection and the health booster are both good, mainly because they give HP and defense. And especially when you're soloing, this really helps out because mages already have low defense and HP. So this just kind of gives you a little boost. And um, also, because clerics are really scarce, this really helps out because pretty much you can offer like a, kind of what the clerics can offer but like you're not a cleric and if you don't have a cleric then you know last resort sorcerer do you have a cleric buffs yeah i do use them there you go um also i don't really suggest learning this skill because like regardless of what class you are because it gives 100 percent 100 movement speed but at level one we got a common skill called quick move which also gives us 100 movement speed and it says it has a 360 second cooldown, and you might be like, mm, that's a lot. But the duration of the buff itself is, I think, like 350 seconds. Oh, it's 360 seconds. So when the buff comes off of cooldown, you can use it again, and it'll, it'll last the entire cooldown. So I don't think there's any point in getting this. If your party members want to move faster, then they need to use a quick move skill. This is pretty much useless. All it gives is the same thing that this gives, and it does not stack, they do not stack together. And the heals and the party heal, I got both of those also because it also really helps in, um, I just said it also like three times, it helps soloing, and if, like back to what I was saying about, hmm, you know, your party doesn't have a clear, clear it's pretty scarce. Um, I've actually stepped down a few times from doing damage and just straight up healed. Um, I mean, my heals are not gonna be as strong, but if your party can kind of do it, offering heals, even as a Sork, will change that kind of do it into being able to do it. Um, I've done many bust by demon runs where we didn't have a cleric and my tank was taking too much damage, you know, stop do dealing damage and just started healing. And, you know, it works out perfectly fine. Um, so that's pretty much all the PvE just gonna pretty much summarize you want to get all the fire you want to get all the fire resistant debuffs you want to get all the passives you want to get all of the buffs you don't need the seal you can get the hypnotize if you want it and you don't need striking regardless you do not need the skill and i don't suggest getting haste either but i do highly suggest but it is not required that you get physical protection and you get health booster and that you also get both the heals that are available to sorcerers. And that's pretty much the PvE. For the PvP, this is where I am specking towards. Um, 
like I said, regardless if you're going to PvE or PvP, I suggest, like, it's, I don't even suggest, like, you, you should get these buffs, like, not getting buffs is missing out on a lot of damage, like, this passive gives 65, this buff gives 45, um, this passive gives 49, this buff gives 15%, like, you, it increases your magic attack tremendously. Um, this buff increases your mana regeneration, and when you're high level, you need mana regeneration, like, a few skills and you'll be out of mana. Um, think about the seal and hypnotize, those are both very, very good in PvP. Seal, especially when fighting other sorcerers, is very useful. Um, elemental resist is also very useful when fighting other sorcerers, and some monsters have elemental abilities, so it also helps. And then hypnotize, you know, you just pretty much knock anyone to sleep, like, lights out. They're, they can't do anything. It's another form of crowd control. Which leads me over to how I build my skill tree. Um, I did not spec fire. Um, a good indicator of what you should build or what you want to build is, like, just the best indicator is to scroll all the way down and then look at the skills and work your way up. As you can see, um, fire skill, 1.3, or 1.4k percent, plus 450, um, so fire, like, extremely high percentages, ice, 1.3k percent, 540, and you'll see this trend throughout the entire tree, um, ice, 120%, um, fire, 500%, um, ice, 160%, fire, 300%, like, fire just provides so much more damage, which is why I really suggest it for PvE, because that's all you're going to need to be able to, like, that's all you're going to have to do is just damage, like, you're not going to need any crowd control because you have a tank and a healer, it's, like, the monster should never be touching you anyway, because if you do get touched, especially in a high level, you'll probably just get two hit and die, so that's why I said just suggest, um, getting fire is doing damage, but for PvP, I know people are like, oh, you don't have any damage, like, but I 1v1 my guild members all the time, assassins and knights cannot touch me, um, by going the thunder and ice route, it provides so much utility, so much crowd control, anybody that's played a decently competitive game knows what kiting is, um, like how to kite, when to kite, what to kite, like, like, they know what crowd control is, like, they know exactly what I'm talking about. To the people that have no clue what I'm talking about, okay, when I say kite, think of when you actually have a kite. You're on the beach with your kite. Wind starts picking up, your kite